let's take a look at this 1967 Ford Mustang convertible done up as a Shelby GT350 tribute no we're not representing this as a true Shelby It'd be a tribute a little bit of a resto mod take on it also underneath the hood 5 liter V8 engine paired up with a 5 speed manual transmission so not what this car would have originally came with this is a glass hood see the center fog lights kind of an Eleanor look to it is it a functional hood with the hood scoops now as far as the paint on this this was originally a Brittany blue car um, so it would have been a little lighter blue than this but has been repainted and uh, restriped these are vinyl stripes as far as the white stripes on here paint on its nice shape um, you'll find some imperfections here and there as you go maybe a couple little chips here and there but overall paint on it is very nice now as far as the restoration on it interior was done nice paints done nice but it is not your top of the line top end full-blown hundred hundred twenty thousand dollar restoration on this car I would say as far as the restoration goes more of a get in and drive it have some fun at your local cruise in or shows and you'll be able to check out the underside kind of see what I'm talking about um, it's not a restoration that we did here but check out the underside picks interior engine bay all the picks can be seen at uniqueclassiccars.com down below this video in the description there's a link click on it it's going to take you right there of course call us to 507-386-1726 be happy to answer any questions you may have on this one scott drake wheels nice look with those wheels on this and as you can see the car seems pretty straight up and down the side of it interior it's kind of parchment bucket seats shifter on the floor dash is a nice shape does have some aftermarket gauges in it we'll get around there in a second as you can see the back seat also in nice shape as far as the top it is a manual top it is white vinyl and you'll be able to check that out in the still pictures also um, also at the end of this video we're going to go ahead and flip that up and i'll show you before we end this video remember we do consider trades financing is available of course we can assist with transportation and this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract consult with your sales associate when you call in or email dual exhaust you can see there's a little bit of a kind of the the vinyls cracked in a couple spots right there but again that stripe is vinyl would be easy to replace or if you don't like it on it would also come off you see up and down the driver's side not full of dings nicks or scratches might find just a little kind of maybe real small ones maybe a rock kicked up here and there all right let's go ahead and start this up check out the interior here first door panels nice shape and again the seats aren't full of rips or tears like I said I mean it's been restored but not to the top of the line, 60, 70, 80 thousand dollar, kind of like I was talking restoration price reflects it. All right, let's fire this up. See how that five liter sounds. Remember, that would be fuel injected. So it'll fire right up, go a little higher idle, and it'll come back down. Here's your trimming five speed. You see the top of the ball, but it is a five speed. Sorry about the glare there. Make sure we're neutral. I have not had the radio working. It does appear tachometer works. Oil pressure. And we got fuel. And I would assume that the temp will come up. I have not had it sitting running or idling long enough for any of that to happen. Uh, looks like the speedometer odometer would need to be calibrated. And again, dash a nice shape. Not full of cracks. Slip around in the back of it, see it here, run. Little rumble coming out of that five liter. 
again a more modern 302 or 5 liter underneath the hood. We'll check that out here in just a second. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pause this a second so I knew these hood pins and uh, we'll get this hood popped and check that out. Alright, FYI, a couple things. There's no hood release. You have the pins, hold the hood down. And as far as prop rod, there wasn't a prop rod installed. I grabbed one from our shop, put in there. There you can see the glass hood with the functional scoops. And your 5 liter. So 302 V8, like I said, a little more modern system to it. Looks like you got a serpentine belt. The radiator, a bit of cold air intake over there. It was a BBK, I believe, 65 millimeter. Let's take a look at that. Out of body. Intake. Alright. So there's under the hood. I'm going to go ahead and pause this one more time. I'll shut that hood down, pop the top up for you, and we'll check out that convertible top. Okay, got the hood button back up and the top put up. Remember, manual top. Folds up easily, though. It does have the lockdowns in the back, too, when it is down to hold it there. And as you can see, white vinyl. Again, it is in nice shape. The paint and the top on this do not appear to be all that old. Do have a glass rear window. There's no plastic back there, and it is one of those that will fold when it goes down. And again, a few just wrinkles from being folded up, but no rips, tears, or holds, holes in it that are going to affect how this top functions or anything. It's going to keep you dry when it is up. So there you go. Finish this video up. 1967 Ford Mustang. Shelby Tribute, of course. Remember, check out those still pictures so you can see the underside, interior, engine bay, everything we talked about went around earlier. Still pictures can be seen at uniqueclassiccars.com. Down below this video in the description, there's a link. Click on it. That's going to take you right there. Phone number 507-386-1726. Remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist with the transportation, and this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email.